All right, so I have the Ultimate R cheat sheet opened up here, and the cheat sheet that we're going to be going to is for the Lubridate cheat sheet. So you can click on this CS next to it, and what that's going to do is it's going to download the file down here. And what I'm going to do is just click this and open it up. All right, so this is the Lubridate cheat sheet, and what we can see here, I'm going to uh, focus in on a few different sections of it. But basically what Lubridate does is it allows us to work with dates and times more effectively in R. So I will explain kind of what the difference between a date and date time class and then uh, a character class is. But basically once you get into a date time class, you're able to use all of these functions, uh, which is amazing. So. Uh, and they have actually functions here for getting date times uh, organized. So that's, uh, these are what I call conversion functions. They take a character vector and convert it into a, a date time using this syntax uh, for year, month, day, or year, day, month, depending on how that character string is organized. And we'll go through this in a little bit, but um, that's this is kind of the, the converters. Um, they have some handy helper functions, which we'll see here, um, such as now and today. I use those a lot um, just to get the current time or the current uh, day. And um, the next series of functions is what I call extractors, which is what you can do to extract certain pieces of that time series. So once you get it into this date or date time format, you can then use these functions to extract pieces of those and it makes it a lot easier for uh, for for just getting certain parts that you care about like for example what the month is or what the year is so that's very important um, they also have rounding functions uh, if you need to round say a uh, a day to the nearest month or a um, uh, an hour to the to the nearest day so those are uh, convenient functions just to kind of get you to a, a specific day. You might use those if you're trying to like group everything uh, into the first day of the month, for example. Uh, say you have a sales that happens, you know, all time through the month. You can then use like a floor date uh, and then unit month, and it'll bring it down to say, like you can see here, if, if all those sales occurred in February, it'll bring it down to the first day in February. Um, the next sheet is working with what I call periods or time intervals, durations. And we'll talk a lot about these. I'm not going to get too much into detail, but um, this is the um, functions for uh, working with periods and working with durations, which are very similar periods and durations. Uh, the only difference is that periods take into account certain nuances like leap years and those sorts of things. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. And then there's intervals. So intervals are from when you're looking at, say, two dates, for example, and you want to calculate the amount of time that has elapsed between those two dates. Uh, you can then get that uh, and, and we'll sh uh, show off these functions as well. Okay, so that's the Lubridate package in a nutshell, and we're going to use that quite a bit in this section.